Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Jonathan Friedman, joined by our ACE reporter, Mark Z, president of Mark Z Legal Staffing. How are you, Mark? Good, John. Great. Good. Thank you. Great to be with you as always. And uh, hard to believe the Ides of March continue to be not only upon us, but they're, it's almost over. It's amazing. The yeah. spring is here. Spring, spring. Go, well, the, the months in the spring seem to go quicker than the winter time. Maybe that's uh, daylight or uh, getting outside a little bit more, but uh, all good. And, uh, you know, things are, are busy as always in, in your world. You've got an interesting topic to bring to us today. Um, tell us about it. Well, I think um, one of the areas that it's becoming more and more challenging as our market continues to be very tight is the idea of, of a counteroffer. So, um, somebody goes in, um, somebody, the, uh, the employee, um, who has been with, with a, uh, an organization company or firm for a certain period of time has decided to move on, has accepted a new position or has decided they just want to move on and maybe they don't have a new position. And, um, but usually, um, it's where a counter offer comes in is when somebody has accepted a job with another company and the employer is deciding whether or not to give a counter offer. And, and that's an interest, interesting topic because I could see that fraught with issues on both sides for a lot of reasons. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what your uh, what your take on that is? Well, my my feeling for the employee is it's never a good idea, and this has been around for a long time to accept a counter offer. It's um, it's a time that that the reason why you were looking for a new opportunity or you accepted a new opportunity is you wanted to change for some reason. And whatever that change is, if it's a cultural change, um, if it's a, um, if it should change um, from um, a certain person you've been working with, um, if type it's of, a type financial, of work, if it's it from the type financial. of work or financial change, um, the, the, firm company organization has had you in a certain position and maybe um, that could be a change that could be made, but the odds and experience from all the statistics that are out there is usually somebody to accept the counter offer is gone within six months. So they may have accepted the counter offer. Um, the employer in the hopes of retaining somebody a lot of times it's in good faith. They will they'll make the changes, but usually that hasn't been made. And usually so, the the issues that, that were upon them will not be corrected. So it falls under the old uh, adage, a uh, leopard doesn't change its, uh, its spots. Um, so, so whatever issues uh, led you to make the change in the first place or to seek out a different opportunity, uh, it's going to be short-lived. Um, and or the change might not happen. So, you right. know, the honeymoon period only happens once, right? <laughs> right. I mean, it, it's unless there's there's always exceptions. For example, there have been situations, unfortunately, where there's been harassment issue. And the reason why the person was leaving is that that that, um, that supervisor has been with them, with the organization for a substantial period of time. They've talked to the company or the organization, the employee about the problem th that has not been solved or corrected. And um, the person says the best thing that I need to do then is to leave. That's what happened um, prior to a lot of the laws we have now, that it was just better to leave. People um, um, were finding that employers were just not dealing properly with the issue. But there are cases where the employer, once they find out um, about an issue are very swift of action, and that may change the circumstances about a counter offer. But usually, I would say 90% of the time, there are rare exceptions when it just once you um, once you have made a decision, the best decision is to move forward with that decision. Um, if it's a financial one, it's usually um, it's an immediate financial situation that that they may the employer may decide, OK, um, we will meet their comp expectations. But a lot of times it's it's what they were going to be getting anyway. The employer has to balance internal equity issues and 
it's usually um, once somebody has given notice, the relationship is not the same. Well, it's interesting from from the uh, employee or the um, uh, perspective also, um, you know, in, in a situation where uh, a counter offer, you, you know, they've gone out and secured a new opportunity and then a counter offer is made, um, you, you're now got yourself, you know, be between a rock and a hard place uh, and potential reputation damage if you go and accept the position and then renege on the position. And and that seems to be another area that that is is common these days. You know, the ghosting of employment or people accepting offers and not showing up. Um, so so it's you know it puts it puts the employee potentially in bad light with a perspective of uh, other employers um, in the, in that case too. Right. What I'm not what I'm not saying is so. For example, if you feel, for example, that you are as an employee are not being compensated properly and you're in the marketplace and you're finding out in the marketplace um, as you've looked at opportunities that your compensation is really below market and you go to the employer and say, listen, I understand my compensation is below market. That's not, um, you're not accepting a job. You're just bringing that to the employer's attention. And I know many people that have and, and the employer in, in many cases has appreciated that because they want to make sure they're paying competitive wages. And a lot of times employers unilaterally will do that, um, especially in our market, will we'll make some changes without the employees asking. I'm talking about somebody moving on, has given their notice, and the employer has now come on with a counteroffer to, um, to do something, whether it's financially, adjustment, or anything they can do to, um, to have the employees stay. From an employer standpoint, knowing that somebody has decided to leave and made that decision, you know, a lot of times you're you're um, you now feel that you do not have that same relationship with the employee anymore, and it may be that it's better for the employee to move on, and then um, at some and keep in touch with that employee, and sometime and and at some time in the future or. Uh, down the line, if there was a, a positive relationship, then you bring the person back. But it just puts the employer in a tough um, situation. Yes, you you want to have a knee jerk reaction and retain the person, but at the same time, you want to do it right. And I, I, my advice. I, 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 for, what, sorry, 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 I was I was I was just agreeing heavily with you. I think you know at that point the damage has been done, the relationship, and somehow has been. Uh, compromised or or um, impacted, and and for both parties, um, you know what might seem like a easy solution in a lot of ways, easy in the, in regards to okay, now we don't have to go and recruit somebody, find somebody else, put somebody in that it, it it's typically a band aid approach, uh, and and whatever drove that person, I think to your point, to to look to exit in the first place is likely going to rear its head again in 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 the if not the immediate term, then the short term. Correct. Uh, it puts pressure on the employer to do something that maybe they didn't want to do. And, and it puts pressure on the employee where they're not having the same relationship by, by already moving on. It's better to, if you're at this point, let it, let the parties move on and then keep in touch. And then the, the situations change, the circumstances of the employee, they, they, they may have moved on, gained, different experiences. Now the employer could potentially bring them back because they've left on a good note with the employee. And at the same time, um, the employee who, who had a good relationship with the firm, it just, but for circumstances moved on, they can come back and say, you know what, here's now a new opportunity at that firm. I can bring these skills and experiences in and we can start afresh as opposed to a band-aid approach that's not good for either party. Absolutely. I think uh, good advice, um, good insight. Uh, you know, we can have a whole other topic around, uh, you know, um, employees using uh, shopping the market to be able to lever, you know, discussions with um, with their employers. But that's probably a topic for a different day because <laughs> uh, we're probably seeing some of that in the marketplace as well. Uh, Mark Z, uh, president of Mark Z Legal. Always a pleasure having you on Radio Entrepreneurs, getting your insight. If people want to discuss these matters or others and uh, in the employment realm, what's the, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Well, John, first of all, um, Google or go to our wonderful Radio Entrepreneurs website, radioentrepreneurs.com. 
Google Mark Z, M-A-R-C in the letter Z, we come right up. Go to Mark Z Legal, M-A-R-C-Z-L-E-G-A-L.com and 617-338-1300. Fabulous. Mark Z, President of Mark Z Legal Staffing and our ACE Report on Radio Entrepreneurs. It's been great having you on this segment. Thank you, John. And we'll be right back with another segment on Radio Entrepreneurs.